Hey, you know, if you're anything like me, uh, you have a hard time in life. Uh, you have, if you're a leader, uh, you know it's not always that easy and you, you, you bump into obstacles and you find yourself stuck. And so uh, today I want you to know something. I've made a long video. It's not short. It's broken up into three parts. You can watch it in three parts or you can watch it all at one time, but it's a long video and it's gonna help you in life. It's gonna help you as a leader. I believe with every single part of my soul, they will help you as a dad and as a mom. Uh, you know, I say this all the time, but if you're a pastor or if you're a Sunday school teacher or if you're a coach, if you coach football, I believe this video will help you in your life. And I'm gonna cover three big areas of your life and, and I'm gonna teach you how to, how to maintain momentum. I'm gonna help you understand the importance of tapping your brakes and slowing down in life. And then I'm gonna help you understand how to stay focused on the preferred path that you have for your life. All right, so hang on. It was nothing too dramatic, but uh, I think it'll help you. And in fact, let me just retract that. I know it will help you. And I pray it does. All right, hey, enjoy. Three things, momentum, tapping your brakes, staying on the path. Here we go. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about maintaining momentum and the importance of momentum. And so um, today I wanna do something super practical. I wanna give you an exercise that I believe will help you maintain momentum and will keep you from being uh, thrown off your course or slowed down or, or really completely derailed in some cases. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Uh, momentum is so important and you gotta, you gotta work hard to, main, to, to gain momentum and then you gotta work even harder to maintain your momentum and you gotta be aware of things that are going on. So one of the things that I, I want you to do today, it's a simple exercise. I want you to get uh, some notebook paper. I want you to get your iPad. I want you to get, uh, you know, whatever device you wanna use. And I want you to get some blank paper or some blank space. And I want you to identify those things that in your life, you know, throw you off, all right? Some of those things come to mind immediately. Uh, things that throw you off. And I want you to look back maybe over the last six months and ask yourself the question, what happened in my life that threw me off or that slowed me down? And then go back another six months, look at the last year and say, okay, in the past year, what are those things in my life that have thrown me off my course or slowed me down or distracted me or kept me from reaching a goal? And then I want you to take it back in another couple of steps. I want you to go back three years. I want you to think back three years Analyze your life, pick it apart, really do the hard work of thinking back over things you've gone through. And then I want you to identify those areas and those things that occurred that threw you off and slowed you down and kept your momentum from being what it needed to be. And then the last step, I really would like for you to go back 10 years. I'd like for you to analyze the last 10 years of your life and ask yourself the question, what has kept me from reaching my goals, my dreams, my big visions? All right, you know, life is so incredibly precious. You know, God gives us a short life and, and he expects us to make the most of it. And one of the ways you can make the most of your life is by identifying those things that throw you off course. Because once you know they're there, then you can deal with them. All right, so let's take a little break. You go do what you have to do and identify those, those things in your life that throw you off, slow you down, block your speed, uh, and make you crash even or derail you and keep your momentum from being what it needs to be. Look back six months, look back a year, look back all the way back to 10 years and see what you discover. All right, have fun. Okay, now that you've made your list, uh, I, I know for some of you that was really easy. Maybe it took just a few minutes. Others of you took longer, uh, a longer amount of time. But now that you've made your list, uh, I want you to take your list and I want you to write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, I, 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 I use digital all the time. I'm a, I, I rarely use paper. I love my journal. I do that. I obviously love to write things down in my journal, but I don't use a lot of paper. In this case, I, I would like for you to write this down on a piece of paper. I'd like for you to write those things down that are causing you to lose your momentum and have caused you to lose momentum, not only for months, but even for years. I'd like for you to write those things down on a piece of paper. And here's what I want you to do next. Once you get them all written down on a piece of paper, then I want you to take your phone and I want you to take a picture of your list. Simple picture of the piece of paper that you have used to write down those lists of things that slow you down and slow your momentum and keep you off track. Take a picture. Then I want you to text that picture or email that picture to somebody who cares about you. 
I want you to share your, uh, those things that have slowed you down and kept you from reaching your goals. I want you to share those things with somebody else. All right, very important. Now, let me give you some tips. Don't share these things with somebody who's gonna make fun of you or be overly critical or be discouraging. Honestly, you don't need that. Uh, share, this, share this list with a life builder. Share this list with somebody who, when you're with them, you feel encouraged. Share this list with somebody that builds you up and is, is, a, is a true, genuine uh, friend of yours. Somebody who is a true uh, lover of you and an encourager and somebody who's out for you and wanting you uh, to succeed, okay? This can be a family member. This can be a friend. This can be a business partner. Uh, this can be a lot of people, but you know, seriously, take this, take this list, take a picture of it, share it with a friend, all right? So you've, you've written it down. You've shared it with a friend. And now the third thing I want you to do with your list is I want you to literally get a match or get a lighter and I want you to light it on fire and burn it. I want you to burn the piece of paper. I want it to disintegrate into thin air. I want it to go away because here's what you have to do. You have to, now that you've identified your list, you have to have somebody helping you, reminding you of them, holding them accountable. But in your mind, I want you to understand that they no longer have to be a problem for you. And burning that piece of paper is a great way to let it just disintegrate into thin air right in front of your eyes. It'd be a great exercise, okay? So important. Identify your list, write it down, take a picture, share it with somebody, and then burn it. All right, here we go. Okay, now that you've, that you've, uh, you've identified those things in your life that slow you down, uh, now that you've taken, you've written them down, you've taken a picture of them, now that you've shared them with a friend, uh, now that you've done away with that list by burning it and, and, and getting rid of it completely, now it's time to start gaining some momentum. And so you ready? You ready to gain some momentum? Let me give you some things that I've learned in my life that help me gain momentum. And I believe they'll help you as well. All right, first and foremost is make God first. Make God number one in your life. Put him at the top of your list. Put him above your, your family. Put him above your job. Put him above your recreation. Put him way above yourself. Put God first. Make God first and I'm telling you, momentum will come. I mean, the cool thing about it is, I mean, God is the one who created all this, right? He spoke and there was light and light moves pretty fast. It's got some serious momentum. And so if you wanna be connected with something with momentum, you would wanna connect with God, right? <laughs> Makes sense. So that's first, put God first. And then second, coming right behind God is you wanna take care of your body, all right? Physically take care of your body. Now, listen, I'm not a health and fitness person. Uh, I struggle with this just like everybody does. But I can tell you, I can promise you that when I'm healthy, I'm happy. When I'm active, I'm happy. When I'm moving and when I'm doing things outside and I'm and my body is, is, is in shape, then guess what? I have momentum. That's true. And so I believe this will happen for you as well. So watch what you eat, get rest, do those things you have to do, exercise, get outside. You know, there's plenty of people out there that can help you with your physical fitness. I'm, I can't do that, but there's plenty of people who can. And so take care of your body. And then the third thing, this is absolutely massive, all right, is to treasure the relationships that you're surrounded by. If you're married, oh my goodness, treasure that family that you have. Treasure your wife, treasure your husband, treasure the, those children that you have. Treat them with respect, love them like you should. They're a treasure, so take care of them. Your friends. Your, your, uh, the people that you work with, the people that you cross paths with every single day, value them, treasure them, manage them strong. If you're a boss, take care of your employees, pay them enough money, give them time off, respect them, all right? So I believe this, I've learned this in my life. These three things will help you gain momentum. They'll help you uh, move in the right direction and be the person you wanna be, all right? God first. Take care of your body and then treasure and value those relationships all around you. All right. Hey, hope this helps. Okay. So we're talking about these three big areas of our lives, maintaining momentum, tapping the brakes, and then staying on track, staying on the course that we're set out on. And so right now I want to give you just a couple things to think about when it comes to the area of tapping your brakes. Now, here's the deal. We live in probably the fastest paced society in the history of the world. I mean, things are moving at absolute light speed all around us. You get five texts a minute. You get 10 emails every five minutes. Uh, you're getting blasted every time you go down the road with commercials and advertisements. And I mean, everywhere you look, man, it's moving so fast. And you're being challenged to do this and challenged to do that. I mean, even me, I'm challenging you to do these things. 
And so life is moving at light speed. And so let me tell you a couple things to do that I believe will change everything for you. All right, number one, first thing, simple thing is when you wake up in the morning, don't touch your phone for 30 minutes. Don't touch your phone for 30 minutes. If you use your phone for an alarm clock, go buy an alarm clock. But don't touch your phone for 30 minutes and see what happens. Give your mind 30 minutes to start the day before you get uh, interrupted by text messages and, and Facebook updates and Twitter feeds and, you know, emails and, you know, updates from your, from your website or notifications from your blog. All right. 30 minutes. All right. You can do it. 30 minutes. All right. And then the second big thing, and I'm a huge fan of this, is take solo days. I'm on one today. Take a solo day. Get away from everything. Leave your phone. Turn your phone onto airplane mode and go drive out in the middle of the country. Go get uh, go in the woods, go to the mountains, go find a river to sit by, go find a rock and look at a waterfall or just go sit in the desert, go somewhere by yourself, go find a lake. I, lo I used to love to go sit at the lake in Arkansas. Uh, I mean, I can tell you over and over again, the way God has used solitude in my life. And I would challenge you to do this one day a month, one day every month, go get alone, spend a day of solitude and see what happens. Let your soul be refreshed and let your heart be renewed and let your vision be given back to you by being alone. All right. So two simple things. You can do it. I know you can. I have incredible faith in you. Start your day. Start the first 30 minutes without your phone and then take a day of solitude one day a month. All right. A couple things. Hope that helps. I believe it will. Uh, we've been we've been talking about momentum We've been talking about tapping your brakes. So in other words, maintaining your speed, but then also slowing down so that you don't lose control. And now I want to talk with you about staying on track, staying on the best path possible, the preferred direction for your life. All right. I want to talk to you about how to stay on track right now. So here we go. Uh, as you live through life, I mean, it's going to be a constant struggle to stay on the right path. So here's some things that I've learned in my life, and I believe they'll help you uh, with yours as well. All right. So uh, as you're on your path, get somebody or get something in front of you that's worth following. All right. So when I'm on a mountain bike and I'm, I'm really trying to, uh, to, to be better and to learn and to be more aggressive, the best thing for me to do is to follow a good friend of mine named Rocky. Rocky's a beast on a, on a mountain bike. And so when I get behind Rocky, I can follow him and he helps me. Uh, uh, be better. And so in your life, if you're going to stay on track, you know what? Get somebody in front of you that's on the course you want to be on and follow them. Get somebody that you can trust, somebody that knows what they're talking about. Be careful with this one because a lot of people out there will lead you astray. Now, my good friend Rocky, I trust him on a mountain bike. If he's going to tell me to do something, I know he's doing it for my best interest. Okay? So find somebody in your life that you can trust and follow them. All right. Then the second huge thing is to stay focused on the trail. Don't look aside. Don't look. Don't look behind you. It's impossible to stay on the course in front of you if you've got your head turned around backwards. You can't see. You'll fall off. You'll you'll run off the course. No doubt about it. Every single time. So a couple things today to stay on course. Uh, uh, get somebody in front of you that you trust, and then stay focused on the course. And then the last thing is be ready for the bumps. Be ready for the bumps because the bumps are coming and know in your mind that the bumps are coming. Don't ever think that you're going to make it into a trail or on, on, through life without hard times. They're going to come. And when they come, be ready for them and know the bumps are coming. And then you will be able to embrace the bumps and attack the bumps and make the most use of the bumps and actually turn something that was going to knock you off the course and make it into something fun. There's something really cool about hitting the rock on a mountain bike and jumping and getting off the ground just a little bit. It's a blast. Thank you so much for hanging out with me just a little bit here on this video. Uh, you know, I do these things for a lot of reasons, but the main reasons I, I really do want to help. I, I love to help people. I love to encourage people. Uh, I, I love to see people accomplish their goals and reach their dreams and, and be the person that they were created to be. And that's, that's why I'm doing these videos. All right. So, uh, take these simple truths we've talked about, apply them to your life, and I know for a fact 
they'll make your life great. All right, I love you so much. All right, now let's go make a difference.